Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It has been so long since I sat down and filmed the video. I apologize for being so MIA. You guys will know why I've been so MIA very soon, hopefully within the next few weeks. I've been working on something that I am so excited for. Um, if you follow me on TikTok, I have mentioned it a few times on my live, very here and there, and I showed some sneak peeks on there, but I think I'm gonna wait a few weeks before really making a whole video on everything that I've been working on. I actually don't even think I filmed a video with my new hair. I finally got highlights. You guys know I've been wanting my highlights back for so long. As most of you guys know, I lost so much hair from my gastric sleeve surgery and I've been wanting to go blonde for so long, but because I lost so much hair, I didn't want to bleach it because obviously it damages your hair. And then my new hair started growing in, which I always give you guys updates on Instagram and stuff, which I'm going to be making a whole video on my hair update and things like that with how my hair has been growing in. Um, but I feel like my new hair was pretty long where I'm like, okay, I can bleach it here and there just to add some depth in my hair. I, so I had like leftover blonde from when I used to be blonde and I was like refusing to like dye it. I wanted to stay blonde. And then I finally just dyed over it because you know, I barely had any blonde left. But honestly, I liked it in the beginning. I just feel like blonde, like when I looked at photos of me, I'm like, oh my God, I looked so much better blonde. That's just like kind of how I liked it. So I felt my hair was kind of long enough and my hairdresser also felt that it was okay so we bleached my hair um very lightly just to add some just to add some lightness in it perfect for spring so yeah i think this is my first video with my new hair and i am super obsessed with it but this is a pretty long intro the point of this video is we are going to be reviewing the new maybelline sky high mascara so this went like viral like last month maybe even longer than that and i purchased it when it was like super popular and i was like i have to film a review on it and i literally have been so busy that i completely forgot to film a review on it so i was getting ready today to film my giveaway video which is coming later um this week i'm filming it today and i wanted to i saw this and i'm like i want to wear it so i'm like you know what let's just film it let's see how i like it on camera um so that's what we're going to be doing today we're going to be reviewing the new maybelline um sky high mascara so if you guys want to see what i think about it then please keep watching okay so i got mine in oh brownish black Hmm, that's weird. I usually do black is black. Um, but this was $11.49 at Ulta and it says here it um says here sky high lash impact from every angle. Exclusive flex tower mascara brush reaches every lash, full volume and limitless length mascara is formulated, infused with bamboo extracts and fibers. Um, okay, let's open this up and try it out. All right, so this is what the packaging looks like. It is a beautiful rose gold, and then the writing is like a pop out feature where feature i don't even know what to call this but it like pops out of it where you feel the ridges and um yeah it's beautiful you guys know i love maybelline maybelline is one of my favorite brands maybelline l'oreal like i love drugstore brands as you guys know like i do so many drugstore reviews um so yeah let's go right in really quick i figured i would tell you guys how i like my lashes if you are new here i normally like my lashes to look very thick very dark sometimes clumpy but not like too clumpy where i'm like the lashes are like totally like spider webs um but i do like it pretty intense um so what i do is when i review it i kind of go in steps like i'll do one layer two layer and then three layers most people usually only like one layer or like that natural look um i don't like the natural look so that's why i wanted to explain like i go in with a lot of layers um but who knows maybe this is um maybe this mascara is so good that i don't need to go in with that many layers so this is what the wand looks like i'm just gonna go right in Okay, it feels like so much product on the brush, which I really like. And it's going through my lashes so smooth. It's really soft, actually. I can't explain it. It's going on my lashes soft. Like, sometimes it's a little... Sometimes there are certain wands that are kind of rough where you feel it. This feels so soft going on my lashes. And I don't know if mine's broken or it's supposed to bend. Let's see. Oh no, it's pretty bendable. So I guess mine's not broken. Okay, so add a little bit more. And that's one layer. Do you guys see how long my lashes look after one layer? I'll look down, look up, sideways, everywhere. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm going to go in with a second layer, but oh my gosh. I don't have a mirror, so I'm like using my cell phone. <laughs> um, 
Wow, that is really nice. We're gonna go with another layer. And again, as I'm doing it, it just feels so smooth. I can't explain it. It feels like it's brushing my lashes. That's what it feels like. It feels like it's just combing my lashes. And that is two. Holy crap. My lashes are so long. Look down, sides, around. Oh my gosh, this is a really nice mascara. Now it gave me the look that I want, but normally if I was like doing my makeup, getting ready for the day, I still would go in with one more layer. Oops, that was a lot. And that is the third layer, and this is normally how I like my lashes. I love this. Look how nice it is. It made my lashes so long, like this is before. And this is after. I'm obsessed. And now I'm just applying it to the other side. You guys, I'm obsessed with this mascara. So now I'm going to do my bottom lash lines. That was a weird face I was just making. You guys, I am obsessed with this mascara. I feel like this mascara kind of works for everyone. If you like the natural lash, you guys saw how it looked after one layer. It looked really natural. And if you like that super dark, intense lash like I do, um, you can build it up without it looking clumpy because I built it up three layers and it does not look clumpy. It does not look uh, like they're kind of stuck together. It just adds on to the layer, makes them darker, makes them even longer. I am so obsessed with this. So let's get into my final thoughts on the new Maybelline Sky High Mascara. I am so obsessed with this. I think this is 100% worth the hype. Uh, I did see some people saying that they didn't think it was worth the hype, but I have no idea because my lashes look incredible. They look so long. They go on like butter. Like it literally felt like I was brushing my lashes. That's what it felt like. Like it was so soft on my lashes. Um, I am super obsessed with this. So I give this a thumbs up. Let me know if you have tried it in the comments down below because I know it has been out for a little while and um yeah thank you guys so much for watching i really hope you guys enjoyed this video if you guys did please give it a thumbs up and if you guys are not already please don't forget to subscribe before you go i will see you all in my next video